Well, what's your favorite MC Hammer song? Can't touch this, just because it was the first. Probably. How many lyrics do you know from Can't Touch This? Not not nearly enough. Do you know how it starts? Uh, my, my, my music has me so hard. It makes me say, oh, my Lord, thank you for blessing me with a mind to cry at you. I feel feels good. And you know you're down with the soup dope home brother from the Oak Town. But I'm known as such. Blah, 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 blah. And this is a beat. Uh, you can't touch can't me. Touch that was very good. Me. Very impressive. Yeah, it's the first verse. Well, you know what bothers me about uh, that Paul Abdul and MC Scat Cat song? Opposites attract. Right. I'm familiar. The whole thing, it should be called, it shouldn't be called opposites attract. It should be called this fucking cat's a fucking asshole because they're not just opposites. Like, she's a good person. He's a piece of shit. Like, he likes to smoke. She doesn't like cigarettes. Right. She likes it quiet. He shouts. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, he's 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 broke. She's got the money and he's broke. So he's a broke, inconsiderate, loud, smoking. Asshole. And, you know, I mean, I think she a, takes two you know, steps you know, forward, and he's no. taking two steps back. Yeah. So it's not just opposites. It's just one's an asshole you know, and one's a, a good person. Relationship. When you lay yeah, good pipe, why, you can be an asshole. That's but that's I, it. MC's- Paul Abdul wanted a bad boy. She got it. She got. It. But it was an animal. But that's the other thing. She is into bestiality. So right. is she that great of a person? Maybe she's not. I mean, that's animal like, abuse, like, right? It's not like he was a house uh, cat. He made his choices. Do you think he's taking advantage of her? Yes. She's fucking an animal. Like, hey, can you show me how to do this homework? And I got some dance stuff to show you. And he's like, I'll show you how to do some homework. Me That's plus it. you equals D. MC Scat Cat took advantage of Paul. I think she went into that relationship with the best of intentions. And he ran right through those intentions into her nether regions. She liked it. When we get together, we have nothing but fun. So it was consensual. Right. So we're not yeah. accusing MC Scat Cat no. of any kind of yeah. assault. Exactly. I'm but also accusing them both of participating in a traditionally toxic relationship. This has gone on long enough. <laughs> what? I need to analyze the opposite attract video. Oh, we do not. What's the next subject? Now, what came out first? Here's my question. Who framed Roger Rabbit or opposite attract? Do you think? Who from Roger Rabbit? Yeah, who from sure. Roger Rabbit? So it was like sort of like an homage to that, maybe. No, because before that was Anchors Away with uh, Gene Kelly and fucking Jerry the Mouse. What year did Who Framed Roger Rabbit come out? Did Mary Poppins have a lot of uh, animation? Yeah. Eight. After Anchors Away, <laughs> I think it's wow. A- Opposites Attract was eighty-eight. Same year. Yeah, but it took longer to animate that whole movie. But they, it might have taken longer to make that video. No, it did not. All right, what album was Opposites Attract on by Paul Abdul? What do you think? Her debut. Yeah, the debut, straight up. My grandma bought me that tape. That would be incorrect. It would not be. No, the name of the album is Forever Your Girl. Oh, well, yeah, but it was. he said the debut album, and that's what I agreed to. You said straight up. Straight up, now okay. tell me. He wasn't me. talking about the song straight up. He was talking about straight up, Steve. That's true. How often do you listen to Forever Your Girl? Not as much as I listen. I, I'm telling you a true, true story. All right. I listen to Wilson Phillips' debut tape uh, three times a year. I have something to say about Wilson Phillips. I'm glad you brought up Wilson Phillips. Because did you know the year, whatever year, oh, it was 1990. Right. That sounds about right. The number one song on the Billboard charts that year was... Hold On by Wilson Phillips. It was like the number one song for the whole year. Mm-hmm. Hold On by Wilson day. Phillips. So the other night I was like, I remember, I guess, I remember hating that. Like because of who we were in 1990, we weren't allowed to like that. Hey, dude, now, I didn't have a problem with Wilson Phillips. You what? I didn't have a problem with Wilson Phillips. Yeah, I bought the tape. You bought the tape? Okay, well, I was ashamed to like it. But now, I'm not afraid to say I'll get into that like in, it's kind of it's kind of hip-hop a little bit someday somebody gonna turn around and make you cry motherfucker and so i watched the video before i was going to bed one night this is the one where they're sitting on the beach t- together wilson and phillips all three of them sitting around the beach singing the song and of course right away it reminds me of boy at this time the 90s girls fashion was to cover up all skin like the only skin you saw on a girl were their hands and their face. Like you had no idea what their bodies or anything like, which is fine. It's actually probably better that way. Poor Carney wasn't that big. She wasn't that heavy. 
but we may everyone made society made her wear a suit <laughs> like you can't wear normal clothes you have to wear a suit right and then i started really falling down a rabbit hole of china phillips and william didn't realize she and mackenzie phillips like drew and i had this whole conversation about mackenzie phillips uh the other day who, who was having a consensual sexual relationship with her father <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize she and China Phillips were related. I had no idea. Mackenzie yeah. Phillips from one day at a time. <laughs> uh, and there's another one. There's another. There's a couple other Phillipses. There are. There all... are. I forget the name. And they're famous. They're like uh, people you know, Busey. right? Busey. Busey Phillips is one. A busy Phillips. A busy from um, Freaks and Geeks. Freaks and Geeks. Geeks. Yeah. I had no I idea. Had China Phillips, world. Busy Phillips, Mackenzie Phillips were all related. Yeah. <laughs> And Mackenzie Phillips had a, according to her book, she had a consensual sexual relationship with her father uh, for like five years. Yeah. Which nobody believed her except China Phillips, I guess, and supported her or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's a weird thing nobody talks about. Oh, what are you supposed to do? It Some day somebody gonna so turn around and make you crack. And no one wants to no one wants to let go of the mamas and the papas. Take that boomers. But it might not be true. John Phillips is not here to defend himself. No, he he's he, he like there's stuff from back then where he didn't admit to it, but yeah, no. It's it was kinda like he pretty obvious. I would believe it. And then we all know it's Carney Wilson because she had a show. Mm-hmm. But there's that other one. That other Wilson. Yeah. Do you know her name? Could you even name her? I think her name is Wendy, maybe. Wendy Wilson? She had, like, the red hair. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, like, the number one song was Hold On, and the next song was Release Me. For one more day. Yeah, Hold On, then Release Me. Right. Like, which one? So, which if you had to pick out of Wilson Phillips, if you could marry one of them. Fuck, marry, or kill. (laughs) (laughs) Wilson Phillips. Yeah, Wilson Phillips. Fuck, marry, or kill. Um... No, you're not going to do it? What's that, Steve? No, I won't won't kill any of them. Oh, that's nice. What if it's consensually fuck? Consensually marry. And consensually kill. Like, they want to die. You're you're like Kevorkian. Kevorkian. Oh, you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) They They were just diagnosed with a... They want a non-treatable disease. They choose choose to shuffle off this mortal coil. Yes. Carlos Summer here.